I'm here today with uh, Dr. Paul, who's the Chair of uh, Medical Imaging at Western University. And we're here today to talk about uh, some of the work that we've been doing our, uh, through our research collaboration. And I wanted to ask you, uh, why did you think it was important to uh, investigate uh, chest tomosynthesis? Uh, um. Right, so um, that's a great question. So the uh, x-ray is the most common used modality in the hospital bar none. Right, so whether you use it in the emergency department, in the in-room system in the department itself, or whether you use it on the ICU, it's, it's, it's there for the patients. But there's a limitation. There's a limitation in that it's superimposition of a 3D structure on a 2D plate. So we lose a lot of information when anatomy and pathology are superimposed. So the idea of using digital tomosynthesis to slice away that overlying pathology to reveal underlying disease is really important. And it's important in patients who are ambulatory, but more important in people who are really sick, because so many disease processes are masked by the anatomy of the lung. So that's great. So could you give us some example of what would be uh, applications for tomosynthesis? So the areas we would look at is where underlying pathology might be masked by overlying anatomy. So the chest, for example, uh, is really important when we have we have the bony structures of the anterior chest wall all the way to the spine. The mediastinum, we have the heart and the major vessels. And there can be pathology either between the breast, uh, the chest wall, and the mediastinum wall between the mediastinum and the, and the uh, spine. So the ability to take layers away is really important. It could also be important in areas like the abdomen, where there's a foreign body, for example, mm -hmm. which is obscured by overlying bowel gas or, or uh, viscera. Fractures, complex fractures in the pelvis, for example. We often have somebody, usually an older person, who's fallen over in the street, and the, the problem is they can't weight bear, and the worry is, have they got a fracture in the pelvis or the femoral neck? And they often have to do multiple images at different sort of angles. Well, would it be nice if you could do digital tomosynthesis and just go through the various layers of the bones and, and accurately depict the fractures without actually taking all those extra images and trying to move the patient around? So these are the areas that we would certainly immediately think of, but I'm sure there are other areas that this could be applied to. It, once we've got the tool working, it's something that we would look to other sort of disease sites in different body areas. 